Hey guys, and welcome back to the Model Car Cup Series. Well, it is March the 15th, good afternoon, and it is time for us to reveal our Unified Scale Automotive Content Creators 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner, or GTX build. Uh, if you've been keeping up, you know I was building uh, the 1970 Richard Petty Short Track, the Flat Nose Plymouth. Well, time to reveal that. Now, this is going to be a short video. I had about a 20-25 minute long finishing it up and for some reason I cannot get that thing to load. It's failed several times and I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that. So I'm trying something different so this is going to be a little bit shorter and I'm going to pray that this one goes up. But hey let's get over and take a look at this thing. Here it is, guys, my 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner in the Richard Petty livery for the short tracks. Um, this is Model Car World paint, which just laid down very smooth, buffed out, uh, barely had to water sand any spots. The bumpers are uh, re-chromed with all clad chrome, and let me see if I can back off a little bit. looks like it's a little blurry there. Um, also covered up the uh, turn signals and backup lights with the little plates as you remember in one of the videos I showed you how we used our punch to uh, punch out some uh, aluminum and that's from a coke can and I'll uh, I'll be showing you that when I get the other video back up I still can't figure out why that other one won't load so uh, uh, I mentioned in the other video, and I'll mention now, you notice the back straps on the back window are not on the car yet. I've already made them, and I already started filming and doing the other stuff before I realized that, but I did want to get this up today. So uh, I will be going back and adding those, and I'll let you see those too. And the red gas cap that you see in this picture, you do not see on the car because as I was placing it, it fell down in the trunk. So... I'm going to have to fish that out and redo that. But, um, again, the paint looked really, really good. The interior, let me get up here where I can I'll let you see a little bit, hopefully in there. Turned out really, really well. Um, there's a lot of stuff you're not going to be able to see, and when I get the other video up, you'll be able to see uh, some of that interior, the things that I that I did as far as the... The uniqueness of the headrest, the uh, roll bar cover panels, the, um, well, you can see the two shock, well, barely, the shock access bay panels in there. But I am very, very pleased with the way this turned out. Y'all probably remember... And I put it in the other video. I may go back and try to butcher some of that video back apart. But uh, that's one of my favorite all-time cars is the, the 70 flat nose and the 71. The last of the, the all-blue cars. And I love the STP too, but uh, something about these old ones. Um, the power slide decals, absolutely awesome as always. But a really good, fun little look. But I did want to share this, and I'll get that other video up. As soon as I figure out why it won't load, I'll try to get that uh, pump back out for you. And I love the little maiden level cross, if you can see. Well, I'm in my own light right there. Maiden level cross, North Carolina. Um, but just a cool kit. Uh, it's got its problems, but you know what? It was fun. It really was. And by the way, guys, if you have not seen any of the other content creators, 70 uh, Plymouths, go and check them out. You've got all kinds of stuff. That's one of, these, one of the reasons I love doing these things is there's so much that you can do with these. And it's just a ton of fun. And I've gotten ideas on some everything from gassers, barn finds, that kind of stuff. There's just so many things you can do with the same car, and it gives everybody uh, an, a chance to flex their flex their wings, so to speak, when it comes to uh, 
something unique. And I'm kind of looking forward to seeing whatever kit is chosen by whoever next year. And i got to do a drawing to find that out. But it should be really fun, I hope. Well, guys, that's the view of mine. I'll put some still shots up there for you as well. And I um, hope you enjoyed this build. Uh, I certainly have. And to the other content creators, thank you so much for the extra time when I was down uh, to get this done. I uh, appreciate you and uh, love you to death because you guys give me great inspiration too. Well, guys, thanks a bunch. If you're not a subscriber, be sure you head over, get us, us a sub. Visit the uh, Teespring store. And uh, God bless. We will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.